Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Halasa, the founder of the Academy of Oxidative Stress-Related Diseases. And these are the recommended management plan to save the world from COVID-19 pandemic and economic depression. Number one, isolate and shelter the vulnerable people with abnormal endothelial function tests from the healthy people with normal endothelial function test, while providing those that are vulnerable with viral inactivation therapies immune-boosting therapies, cognitive therapies, along with other resources needed to keep them safe and healthy. Number two, antibody testing of the vulnerable people and allow them to resume work if they show positive immunity. Number three, open all the businesses and allow the healthy people back to work in order to speed the process of reaching the herd immunity level. Number four, antibody testing of randomly selected groups of 1,000 people to estimate the level of herd immunity and assess the efficacy of the recommended COVID-19 management plan by dividing the COVID-19 mortality rate with the herd immunity rate. Number five, viral inactivation therapies for the following patient types. A, positive PCR tested patients. B, symptomatic patients. C. Asymptomatic patients who are in direct contact with COVID-19 patients, such as healthcare providers and caregivers. The viral inactivation therapies consist of combining oral methylene blue mouthwash and oral photodynamic therapy, along with polyphenol supplements and others, such as curcumin, CBD, quercetin, melatonin, and zinc. Number six optimizations of the body's health status through immune boosting therapies and reinforcing the adherence to the recommended long-term treatment of the patient's underlying diseases. Education on healthy lifestyle and healthy nutritional programs is the key for all patients with chronic conditions in order to fight infections and develop strong immunity. This is accomplished through optimizing and balancing the body's immune, endocrine, and endocannabinoid systems. In addition to normalizing the nutritional and cytokines level using the recommended integrative and regenerative therapies. Number seven, understanding COVID-19 as a systemic disease and tackle its complication with reliable therapeutic protocols that will address this complex disease process, which includes pneumonia, pulmonary hypertension, high attitude pulmonary edema, acute respiratory distress syndrome, the cytokine storm, methemoglobinemia, septicemia, disseminated intravascular coagulations, systemic inflammation, systemic vasculites, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, which leads to multi-organ failure and potential death. It is advisable to consider innovative and cutting edge therapies, such as antiviral therapy, intravenous methylene blue photodynamic therapy, cannabinoid therapy, nitric oxide inhalation, anticoagulant therapy, exosomes inhalation, intravenous vitamin C, restoring vitamin D and sex hormone normal levels, convalescent plasma therapy, in addition to oxygen and low pressure ventilation. Number eight, cognitive behavior therapy, which consists of a wide range of evidence-based cognitive and behavioral psychotherapies that involve techniques and strategies to address unhealthy thoughts and behaviors across many psychological issues, including anxiety and depression. Thank you for listening.